The Ethiopian Educational Media Agency presents English for Grade 7. This is Program 17. Lesson topic, how many of you stood up? Hello, teacher. Hello, students. Hello, Hawa and Owang. Hello, Leah. Hello, teacher. Oh, Hawa, I want you to greet everyone. You mean all the students or every student? Every student is the same as all students in the... Okay. Hello, everyone. I didn't understand that, Leah. I said every is the same as all in usage. How could that be, Leah? Okay. When I say every student in the class, I mean all the students. Let me do that. Teacher, please tell every student to stand up. Every student to stand up. Say, every student stand up, please. Teacher, how many students stood up? Students, how many of you? How many of you stood up? I hope all the students in the class stood up, didn't they, teacher? Good. Now, every student, please sit down. Good. Teacher, how many students sat down? How many students sat down? Students, how many of you sat down? I hope you said all of us sat down. Students, that is good. Now, teacher, please ask all the students to stand up. Say, all the students stand up, please. Students, how many of you stood up now? I hope you said all of us. That means every one of you stood up. Teacher, now tell all the students to sit down. Students, how many of you sat down? Is there anybody standing up? Nobody is standing up. In fact, only the teacher. That's how we use every and all Owang. And here is a song also. Maybe it will help you understand more. Please, both of you try to sing. One two, three. Students, now every one of you please sing with Hawa and Owang. Teacher, please sing with students. After three, one, two, three. That's good, everyone. Let's sing it again, everybody. After three, one, two, three. Everyone, everyone is singing. Everybody. 
everybody, everybody singing. Each of us is singing. Nobody, nobody is singing. We all and we all are singing a song. That's very good, students. We'll sing it again later. Leah, are each, every, and all exactly the same? No. They have similarity and they also have differences. How are they similar? You see, in music, they all are similar. Their meaning is similar. Then, how are they different? They are different. Each and every always takes singular verb, and all takes plural verb. I didn't understand that. Let me explain it to you from the words of the song. Students, please look at the words of the song on the blackboard. Everyone is singing. Everybody is singing. Each of us is singing, and we all are singing. I see. Every and each takes singular verb, and all takes plural verb. That's right. Now, can you give me a sentence with every Ubank? Okay. Every student was singing. Just a little mistake, Ubank. Let me correct it, Leah. No, let students correct it, Hawa. Students, do you say every student or every student? I repeat, do you say every student or every student? Hawa? We say every student. That's right. We say every student, but not every student. Ubank, say every student was singing. Every student was singing. Students say every student was singing. Students say again every student was singing. Do we say each student or each student, Leah? Of course we say each student, but we say each of the students. And do we use plural verb for it? No, no. We use only singular verb. We say each student is and each of the students is. Aha. Uh -huh. When we use it before a noun, we say each student is. And when we use before preposition, we say each of the students. That's right. We say each student is or each of the students is. Students, do you say each book is or each books are? I repeat. Do you say each book is or each books are? Hawa? We say each book is. Right. You say each book is. Students, now say each book is good. Students, now say each of the books is good. Students now say, every book is good. Students now say, all the books are good. Students say again, all the books are good. Students, do you say, every girl is reading or every girl is reading? I repeat. Do you say every girl is reading or every girls are reading? Owang? We say every girl is reading. That's right, Owang. You say every girl is reading. Now, students say every girl is reading a book. Students say again, Every girl is reading a book. Students now say, each of the girls is reading. Students say again, each of the girls is reading. Students now say, all of the girls are reading. Students say again, all of the girls are reading. 
That's very good, students. How are do all your sisters wear a dress? No, one of my sisters wears trousers. Obank, does everyone in your family speak English? Yes, everyone in my family speaks English. That's good, Obank. Now, Hawa, is everyone in your family educated? Yes, all of us are educated. Good. Obank, do all the members of your family live together? No, one of my brothers lives abroad. That's very good, Hawa and Obank. Students, now tell your teacher in the same way. Teacher, please ask your students one by one using every, each and all. For example, call the students by name and say, is every student listening? Are all the girls in the class wearing uniforms? And so on. You have about one and a half minutes. Teacher, students, do the same in your pairs. Ask and answer to each other using each, every, and all. Teacher, please help your students in taking turns. You have about one and a half minutes. the song for the last time everyone after three one two three Very good, everyone. That's all we have for you for today. Goodbye, Goodbye everyone. Goodbye. Goodbye. That was English for Grade 7 from the Ethiopian Educational Media Agency.
Join us again next week in program 18. Till then, goodbye everyone. Goodbye.